doing some talking. It's all the thing. It's all the rage of this thing now, talking. It's mental. It's gone viral, talking. Thanks for letting me out. And my entire face blew off because of the pressurized... Who the fuck thought that was going to go mental? ...container it was stored with it. The world is very loud. Please help me pay rent! Oh my goodness, what's he talking about now? Hello, everybody. Hope you're well. An impromptu uh, ABP rambles because I just want to quickly... Um, give my praise and not give a shout out because they don't need shout outs because one it's one of the biggest youtube channels on the planet and b it's one of the biggest shows on amazon prime but i am currently watching clarkson's farm all three seasons they're now filming season four as well and si inside by the sidemen which is kind of their spin on big brother genuinely one of the best things i've watched in ages um, lots of people saying that they don't like it in the comments and stuff, but I think the Sidemen have absolutely smashed this. It's got a bit of an insidious sort of vibe to it, where the sort of game prize money is a million pounds, and it's already available for people to spend money. So like, if they go to the shop, they buy a bag of sweets, it's going to cost them five grand. So that will then drop the total from a million to, you know, five grand less. And it is unbelievably well produced. It's very, very well edited. And it's just a bit of a smash hit, really. Um, as always with Sidemen, they do millions and millions of views, usually in a couple of hours after it's been uploaded. Um, but yeah, Joe Weller. I love Joe Weller. He's one of my favourite um, YouTubers. Has been for a long time. Um, I won't spoil it. But something happens to him in episode 3, which I don't want to get into on here because it's still actually being released every day and I think it finishes on Sunday. So I've watched all... F I've watched three episodes. I'm in the middle of watching four. Um, I quite like Specs Gonzalez. I think he's quite good, but he plays a character a lot. And um, he, he likes to um, wind people up and antagonise and keep a straight face about it. Um, so he's going down to the shop quite a lot and just buying loads of stuff just because he wants to. And sometimes he's buying stuff and leaving it in the shop so that the next person that goes down to the shop, um, sees it and then other people accuse them of buying it. Um, there's a person in it that I genuinely didn't think I'd like, which is Chloe Burrows, who's, um, I think she was on Love Island, which just immediately is a red flag for me. She's actually really entertaining. There's a couple of other people there as well. Um, I think Neef is one to watch. Um, I've never heard of her before, and there's quite a few people that I've not heard of before. Uh, I think there's a guy from America. He's a streamer. I can't even remember your name, mate. Sorry. Uh, Callisto is probably one of the most annoying people I've ever met in my life, or never met in my life. Um because every single sentence he says, he says the word breathe at the end, and it's just like, mate, shut up. Like, what are you on about? Um, Joe Weller, like, very, very charismatic, but also very calm, and uh, something that I strive towards in my own personal life. Um, I think JJ, Ethan, um, who else has been in the actual game part of it, where they have to do activities and they have to do challenges? Who else? Oh, Vicstar. Yeah, not a fan of Vicstar, but they're very, very good presenters and very, very good game hosts. All of them seem well up for this, and they kind of just want to fuck around with people, and they just want to sort of... Like, there's um a rotating shop menu, and I think every sort of six to eight hours or whatever it is, it changes twice a day, usually. Um, So it changes, like, in the morning, if you want to buy a bowl of cereal... Uh, and then in the afternoon, it will change to something else. And then at night, it changes to basically everything the Sidemen have ever released as physical products. So not only are they doing a spin-off of Big Brother, but they're also promoting their entire ecosystem. They're getting people to wear Sidemen clothing. They've just released a cereal brand called Best Cereal. Um, XIX Vodka. Um, it's just a sides as well if you want to upgrade your food. Which I think costs like five grand. Which for a burger and chips, that's quite expensive. You know, I know that the cost of living is a real thing, but Jesus Christ. Um it's just a really, really good show. Uh Stephen Tries is um narrating it and doing voiceovers for it as well. 
and I'm genuinely, genuinely impressed. And I'm not trying to brown nose the side men. They do not need my support. They get millions and millions of views. They do not need me to like promote them. But I'm just genuinely impressed by the effort and the obvious scale and order of magnitude that this has, you know, taken. Um, and the fact that it's being uploaded every day is it is genuinely phenomenal. So well done. I'm genuinely impressed. I've always usually got something to say, and I've usually got like a bit of a negative, like ah, meh, 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 but it's just very, very well done. Bravo. Um, well done, everyone in the side, man. So go check out inside. Uh, second thing is Clarkson's Farm. No, needs absolutely no introduction at all. It's all over the uh, internet. It's been clipped. It's been, it's the, f the poster boy for Amazon Prime. And uh, it kind of highlights how hard being a farmer is. And it also highlights how much compliance and how much regulatory sort of middleman nuss there is in farms where if you make something in your farm, you've got to get it approved and tested. And Jeremy Clarkson made a load of mushrooms in his like underground bunker or something. And his wife, Lisa, I think it is, wants to make it into a powder because it's got lion's mane in it. And you've got to like take it off to a lab and test it. And it's got to be a sterile environment and all that sort of stuff. Uh, Caleb, just every, se every season, every series is just going from strength to strength. Um, I think he'll probably have his own farm in season four. Um, I really, really, really want to get, um, is it Roger? The guy that talks loads. I want to get him on the podcast so bad. That'd be absolutely ridiculous. I think it's Roger. He, um, had cancer at the start of season three, which is shit, but he's better now. Um, I hope that's the right name. Uh, and also you've got the um, the finance guy. I can't remember your name either. I'm not very good at this. Um, he's usually called the sort of mood hoover. Uh, Charlie. That's it, Charlie. And it's just a real celebration of like <clears throat> going into something completely feet first and not really knowing what you're doing. And it's just an absolute binger. Like I watched the whole of season three in two nights. Um, lots and lots of promotion for regenerational farming, lots of, um, alternative ways of doing something without putting tons and tons of chemicals on the floor, um, on the fields. Also a lot of heartbreak. There's an episode in season three, which is very, very sad. It actually made me cry. Um, I think it's called harrowing and it's about the pigs. Some of the pigs die. Um, I think they lose like 30% of their pigs at one point, which is just awful. But out of the darkness comes a light, and Jeremy Clarkson's actually smashed it, and he's made a pig ring. I think it's called Clarkson's Ring, because Jeremy Clarkson, lol. Um, but also, I'm not going to buy a tub of nettle soup for 10 quid. But yeah, go give them a watch, guys. I'm sure that this is probably old news at this point. I'm sure you're probably already well aware of both of these shows. Um, but I am very, very impressed with both of these i think that they are absolutely phenomenal shows and nowadays there's a whole sea of things on netflix on amazon prime on youtube on disney plus and sometimes these things get missed and it gets caught in the sort of chaos and the chaff and sometimes you need someone to sort of slice through the noise as it were so genuinely really really impressed by both of those shows so go check them out uh, that's it for me so i just wanted to jump on have a chat and uh, let you know what I'm watching. So yeah, all good. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave you to it. Um, in the meantime, Timmy has bought some new glasses because he's a legend. I don't know if he should have them on here or here, but he's absolutely wearing the shit out of these glasses. And uh, yeah, he's in the front of my car. So yeah, all good. Have a good one. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.